The Fall of Western Ubermensch Nietzsche introduced Ubermensch, or Superman, in his famous book Das Spak Zarathustra. Nazis took that idea and based on a crude interpretation of the concept, used Ubermensch to describe a biologically superior Aryan, a man above all men. The very existence of Ubermensch requires an equal and opposite character, which in German they call it Untermensch, or inferior man. So at one end you find Germanic races like Aryans, which are Ubermensch, and at the other end, the inferior races, or Untermensch. Between these two extremes lives Munch. Jews, Slavs, Gypsies, and the rest were the Untermensch, or inferior. And even among these inferiors, Jews at the bottom of the list of races in Hitler's book this worldview paved the way for the horrors and terrors of the Second World War, which claimed 60 million lives, and among them 6 million Jewish lives perished in concentration camps, gas chambers, and ovens. The attempt to procreate a pure and unblemished race of man had many turns and twists and even the native German population was not immune from its wrath. The Nazis euthanized hundreds of thousands of German children and young adults with disabilities and mental illness. Eugenics in a never seen before scale was used in Germany. Ubermensch had an idea. Ubermensch wanted to save the world from the Untermensch, the parasite, and the solution was called the final solution. So you see, when you have the ideologically augmented government, such as the Nazis regime in Germany, Islamic regime in Iran, and even the communist regimes in China and North Korea, everything must be aligned to protect and promote what the political powers demand. The ideology of Nazis did not die with the defeat of Hitler and the Nazis. Many Nazis, including Hitler himself, mentioned that in case of defeat, Nazism will live for many years to come. The idea of Ubermensch as superior man lived on, and even today it's alive and well and mostly in the Western countries. Of course, it has lost its institutionalized and openly government-sponsored form, and instead it has become an idea in heads of global corporations, super rich, and those who consider themselves to be saviors of the planet. Billions of dollars in hands of a few billionaires is a tool and not a goal. Money is not an objective anymore. It's power and control. These men have one or two goals in their lives and they don't hesitate or even shy away from achieving them at any cost. So they want us to believe that, well, they are billionaires. They must be better than the rest of us we are not billionaires. They're incredibly wealthy, and wealth brings power, and absolute powers brings absolute insanity. And you can see that insanity in their eyes, or even in their talks. Just listen to Bill Gates and his TED Talk in 2015, or countless other interviews he has given. He always talks about how to reduce the population of the Earth, how to reduce CO2 levels of the planet, and based on his formula, the easiest, fastest, and most assured method is to decrease the population. In their minds, they think, I am Ubermunch, 
I am the chosen one to save the planet. The rest of you are all inferior, expandable, undesirable polluters. Today they plan to darken the earth atmosphere to block the sun. And tomorrow you will see they invest in distribution of vaccines by mosquitoes. Yes, you heard it right. They want to distribute vaccines by mosquitoes. So no more excuses for not getting your vaccines. Mosquitoes can always bite you and deliver the vaccine. In their minds, these billionaires, these heads of international and global corporations, they think they own the planet and everything on it and even around it. And now they tell us the world needs a new order and they call it a great reset. This is so ironic that the mastermind behind the great reset and his grand idea is a German born engineer and economist, Klaus Schwab. He's written a book about it. In fact, he has written many books to tell us that he is not happy with the state of the world. Last time a German was not happy with the state of the world, he delivered Second World War and hundreds of millions of death. In his book, The Great Reset, Klaus Schwab says, at the time of writing, June 2020, the pandemic continues to worsen globally. Many of us are pondering when things will return to normal. The short answer is never. Nothing will ever return to the broken sense of normalcy that prevailed prior to the crisis because the coronavirus pandemic marks a fundamental inflection point in our global trajectory. So for those of you that you think, oh, well, this is just a pandemic like any hundreds of pandemics that happened throughout the human history. This is another one. We just need to get vaccinated and everything will go back to normal. Listen and heed his words. The new Ubermunch of the 21st century is on a mission. The mission is to save the planet from the Untermunch, the inferiors. And that is through a great reset triggered by a manufactured pandemic. What we had before 2020 was broken sense of normalcy. I never denied that humanity has lost its sense of respect for nature and the planet a long time ago. In fact, since industrial revolution, we lost our respect for the planet, the same culture that produces characters like Klaus Schaub and Bill Gates with their idea of the Great Reset, saving the planet from the true virus, which in their minds is nothing but human and humanity. The same culture has caused suffering and disasters for humans over the last 200 years. Two world wars, communism, regional wars, stage coup d'etats and revolutions, regime changes, invasions, cold war, biological and chemical weapons, covert operation, and use of atomic bomb on innocent civilians, all perpetrated by the same people who claim the highest moral authority today. The world is in the grip of a pandemic brought about by these forces of evil and darkness. And yet they are to promise us a better world if we get a vaccine. The same criminal institutions and individuals now enforce lockdowns. Look at so-called free countries like Australia and United Kingdom, even United States. Lockdowns, mandatory masks, social distancing, and many other rules to just separate us. And now they want us all to get injected 
with an experimental drug. Why should any sane person believe for one second that a race of inherently criminal people with such a dark and bloody background has the good of humanity or even the planet at heart? These are people from the darkest and deepest depth of the hell. These are servants of Satan. We, the Untermensch, the inferiors of the world, the meek and weak of the world, will inherit the earth. We will inherit the wounded earth, the raped earth. We will heal the earth. The self-proclaimed Western Ubermensch had his chance. It's over. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. This is a solemn but glorious hour. I wish that Franklin D. Roosevelt had lived to see this day. General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe, which has guided and sustained us through the dark days of adversity and into light.